Alright, what's going on guys? So, here I am with just some interesting Super Nintendo um, questions and uh, studies. Basically, my friend Derek brought me back this Super Nintendo. This was the one that I found at the mom and pop store a few weeks back. It was the third one I found. Mine still works up in my system up there. But these are the two extra ones I had. This is the one I was going to send to A. Murphy last summer. But it didn't work. So this one here is broken. This one here is the one I gave my buddy Derek. When he plays it on his TV screen, on either of his screens, you get these big, thick white lines going down the screen that just go down the screen like this. Um, on my TVs, it doesn't happen. On the TV I tested that out at, at the thrift store, it doesn't happen. So I don't know what's going on with there. So anyways, I gave him back my fourth and my third working Super Nintendo, so he has one to use. But anyways, after receiving this one back last night from him, we noticed it was quite heavy. I didn't see any tampering evidence on the screws, so I knew nobody had opened it up or stashed anything in there, although we joked about that. Um... I figure there must be extra parts in there or something, and this might have been a first year model with older parts. After opening it up, I discovered some neat things. The first and foremost thing you notice when you open this up here is this extra sound chip right here, at least that's what I think that is. An extra soundboard possibly. Why I think this, as you notice it's not there. What this says here is, and now I'm putting this video up so hopefully some of you can shed some light on this. Uh, instance here and you can tell me what's going on this here is an SHVC sound 1990 Nintendo Co LTD uh, Mitsumi Electric Co um, so I don't and it says K23AA as you can see there's a board in there there's an extra board in there what I think that is is an extra sound board not sure though considering there's no extra plugs going to it unless this thing actually hooks up in there somewhere it is very, very heavy because of that extra part. I'll show you this machine. It does not have that part there. That's very light. I don't know if it's a second model or what. No, I'll tell you why I think this is the first year, the first production model in a second. And why I think that's a second year. But uh, let's look at the top lids now. This is the lid for that system. This is the lid for that system. After a closer look, you'll notice that there's a diff whole different mechanism on this system, which was implemented in the first years of the Super Nintendo. It's actually gone from this system. There's nothing there, see? So let me show you a closer look at what that is there, actually. Basically, when you turn on your power on and off button, that little item slides out there. And what that's going to do is that's going to hook in to that little part right there that was on these carts. Older carts just have a groove there, and newer carts actually have the whole bottom part open. So if you always wondered why that groove was there, that's because in these, what I think are first year model systems, the power button actually went out and locked your game in right there. So the power button uses that mechanism there to shoot out a little lever there and lock it in. And that is on the one with the sound fit. So what I'm thinking here is that this was the first production module one, the production module. Uh, they realized how they could save some parts on it, possibly, and they made it to here. Maybe this has a better soundboard in their sound chip. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can let me know, though. I have seen people put up their videos with questions regarding things such as, uh, like, all the numbers on the back of this one are the same. Um, there's different stickers. Some of these things actually are stickers. Whereas, like in this one, they're not stickers, they're actually imprinted in the plastic. Those are other just telltale signs that I think this is a first year model one. So, yeah. And that one, put a $20 price ago. Yeah, that was a $20 one I bought with all the controllers and the bundle and stuff. So, yeah, basically, those are variances there in uh, models of Super Nintendo. So, if you think there's just one model of Super Nintendo out there, they're actually quite a few different ones, but they all look the same on the outside for the most part. So, yeah, if anybody else can shed some light on this scenario here and tell me, you know, exactly what that part is there, if that is an SHVC sound board or what, and 
what did they do to the newer ones to compensate for that? So, cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope we discover something. Peace.